this year in the garden i'm doing a lot of vertical growing and a lot of trellising and over the years i've tried everything imaginable to trellis my tomatoes and cucumbers from these guys where you're supposed to be able to like let the string out so that you can lower and lean they don't work good tomato cages don't work good so in this video i'm going to show you all the trellising systems that i'm using in the garden this year that actually work let's go check them out behind me is my cherry tomato tunnel and then i got some celery over here and basil on that side we're using the clipper trellising system so we kind of grow them up a string at first and then we've got these wires that hang down from a wire that i've installed up there and then once they reach the wire then we clip them to the plant and the wire with these little donuts and that's what holds the plant up but then we're gonna like prune off all these suckers so that they that's a sucker see how it like comes grows in the armpit of the plant that would like grow another tomato plant basically and they would all bush out but we're just gonna grow it up like the single stem so i just kind of wanted to show you like my gear setup while i'm going out trellising tomatoes so i can keep the clips just kind of right in here with my shears i bring my bucket with me so i can just kind of scoot down the row and go from plant to plant and i can move up the plant and trim up all the suckers and then i can put my shears right back in here and then i also have the clips right here so i can work nice fast and efficiently and move down the row i'll just bring like an extra bucket of these things so i can refill my pouch as needed i'll just put it at the top of the bed so i don't have to run back and forth to grab more if i need them these are my big beef tomatoes you can see they're starting to grow some tomatoes i'm pretty excited about that and um, i don't know i don't know it's probably like three or four weeks away before they'll actually be ready now you can see how this guy he's already been uh trimmed up a little bit you can see where we cut leaves off of here and the sucker from right there so i clean up all the foliage on the bottom of the plant up until the first fruit set and this just really frees up airflow around the bottom of the plants uh, to help prevent diseases and pests because the pests are all going to hide under like bushy leaves you know if there's nowhere for them to hide then you're eliminating all the pests so i'm gonna leave like all these leaves i want these to be able to shade the lower fruit because otherwise they'll get sun scald if they get direct sunlight just like humans get sunburnt your fruit can get sunburnt so you want the leaves above the tomatoes to shade them so they don't get sun scalded but then once you harvest those tomatoes then i'll continue to trim the leaves all the way up the plant and we'll just keep trimming it up until we hit the uh bottom fruits all season long and then these tomato vines are indeterminate so they'll be about 30 40 feet by the end of the season and uh you know i hope you'll continue to watch as we progress and i'll show you how we end up lower and leaning these and we'll just drag the vines across the ground while they grow all the way up to the top but then we're going to continue to cut these suckers off so this is a big overgrown sucker right here so you can see how this is the main stem of the plant right here and then this is what we call a sucker which would be another tomato plant and then it grows more suckers and leaves i don't want those because that makes it really hard to manage your plant's just gonna like grow everywhere but you could take this stick that in water and then that'll grow roots and then this will be another tomato plant so if you wanted more tomato plants you can do that but i got tomato plants coming out my ears and i'm not interested in saving suckers right now so these just go to the compost for me so i got my bucket right here and i just throw all the clippings right in my bucket and i just move right up the plant and i cut off all the little suckers and I'm not going to be very aggressive with the leaves today because we already have pruned the lower leaves up to the bottom fruit set. So I'm really just pruning off these suckers today. The ones I just showed you that I cut off were like pretty big. But like, you know, typically what you want is like just little tiny suckers. And I can just like 
pinch them off basically so see how i just kind of pinch that one off and like that's how you want to cut them so i don't actually like need the shears i just like pick it off and they come off really easy when you get them small but if they get too big you don't want to tear it because you want to have like minimal air exposure to the plant so that like pathogens can't get in there because when you cut it that leaves a wound just like a human you get a cut and you can get an infection when you cut a plant open like that you're giving it a wound so it could potentially get pathogens into the plant through that um, so the smaller the wound the less room for pathogens to enter so if you can get them when they're really small and just pick them off like that that's the most ideal way to take your suckers off rather than cut them but these are really overgrown i'm gonna have a lot of cutting to do ahead of me today and that's okay this is part of it i mean this is like five days since we last did this so i mean they get big fast i mean it's something you gotta do kind of every couple of days you can see like this is my wire that hangs down from the clipper system and my donut is right here can you see that and then here's my wire hanging from the top and i'm just holding the plant up and then i'm just going to move the clip up the plant basically right and then the wire kind of moves around freely so i can put this wherever i want it so i don't have like in the past i grew from a string all the way up to the top but the string is fixed right so i can't like move it all over like this it just clips on like that and now this is holding the whole plant up but it's only got one clip so i like to have two clips per plant and these guys weren't big enough the last time i installed these so i'm just going to install the second clips on this plant and then i'm done for the year i only put two clips per plant and then i just come in every week and i just move them up the plant and lower the plant down and lean it that way okay and so i got my two clips right there just holding the plant up hanging from the wire and that's it and now this guy's here i can move him forward i can move him backward if needed just like uh moving a clothes rack so right here we've got our determinant tomatoes the variety celebrity and we're doing the florida weave trellising style on these tomatoes and what that consists of is we put like these metal t posts on the ends um and then they're kind of going in at like an angle here and that keeps it so that like when the plants get fruit it'll like pull it in a little bit and go up rather than pull it down um so i put the end posts in at the end and i put metal ones and then we got these wooden tomato stakes that i just pick up at the farmer's co-op they're like a dollar each and I put those in the middle and then we've got two plants between each stake and then you can see like chef katie here she's just weaving the string in between the plants and then wrap it around the posts and then back and then we've just we do that every week all the way up the plant and then just just holds it up so it doesn't flop over onto the beds next to it and then it also helps the fruit so that like the fruit will get heavy and it'll just break the branches off the plant if we don't support them somehow uh so this is just a really quick simple and easy way for us to trellis determinant field tomatoes and determinant meaning that like all the fruit's going to be ready at once i'm going to show you some other trellising systems that we're using for our indeterminate tomatoes which are like vining types of tomatoes where they'll keep producing fruit all season and um and so we use a little bit different trellising system to keep those plants going all season long so once these set fruit we'll pick the fruit off of them and then we'll terminate the plants and we're going to plant something else here so in this high tunnel we've got um diva cucumbers here and then these are big beef tomatoes and the diva cucumbers we're just trellising using a trellis net system so we pounded tea posts in here and then there's four T posts down. So, you know, there's about 15 feet in between the T posts. And then I've got a, a wire installed in the tops of my high tunnels here. You can maybe barely see it. And then, so we t zip tied this netting to the, to the wire from the top. And then we just like put these posts in to add it, to add some security so that like it can't like pull them in and then we tied strings to the bottoms of the trellis net down to the ground where we clipped it to the plant and then we just like spiraled it up the string until it gets to the trellis netting and 
Then once it gets to the netting, and we, we pruned all the bottom leaves and the suckers off the bottom, and then once it hits the netting, we're not gonna prune the suckers anymore. And we're just gonna let the uh, cucumbers vine out onto the trellis netting. And then hopefully once they're mature, we'll just kind of come down and cucumbers will be dangling there and we'll just pick off our cucumbers. So I'll keep you updated on how that goes. And then, so the big beef tomatoes in this house, we're using the clipper trellising system. Um, so basically the same it's connected to the same wire on the top and um then these and then this just has a hook on it like that and this hook just hangs from the wire on the top of the greenhouse that I installed. And then this way I can move it along the wire. So as the plants grow, we can lower and lean them and then just move this down. So the vines will just kind of drag across the ground. And then as the plant grows, they have these clips, which are just these little donuts. They're like foam. And the foam part goes around the plant and then this like clips to the um, to the wire and then we'll just move these down the whole way so there's no spools of string above or anything like that to manage it's just these clips and as the plant grows we just uh, remove this move it up the plant move it over and that's the trellising system that we're going with uh, on our greenhouse tomatoes this season So I'm just going to go through, I'm going to prune all these up and we're going to trellis them and I'll show you how we do it. <laughs> 